changes in my life. Bing, 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 bing. You will bing, see bing, it time. Season spill. Welcome back to the podcast. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Hey, it's another week. Episode four. Another week. Last week was heavy. Can we not be as heavy as last week? And here's the thing about last week. So we have, we, I, I gave the plug for the YouTube channel, right? Okay. And I said, if you are listening through Spotify or any other podcast platform and you're missing out on the visual side of the podcast when we make visual references to like that picture in the background or your fun t-shirt to go check out the YouTube version. Here is the cluster F of things that have happened to me in the last week. So I edited that video. I uploaded it to YouTube. Apparently it got interrupted in be- during its upload. But before I could go back and fix it, my computer firmware locked. And I can't unlock it. If I can define that later. But basically, my computer's a brick until I can take it to the Apple store and have them unlock it. Oh, and that oh has been, and I have literally been going around and around with our Apple manager. I mean, we we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on Apple equipment here at this company. You would think they'd be able to throw me a bone and fix this one computer. But no, I have to go physically down to the Apple store, which is not fun these days because of COVID. They make you wait outside and they use downtown Summerlin's uh, rent-a-cops and they're awful. And I just told him, I was like, I got big events happening at work this week. So I am literally without a work computer other than my my work rig here in my office, which I'll change the scenery for... If you if this makes it up to YouTube, <laughs> if it you ever know, gets there, you know that what also bro- what sucks about that is like literally all the graphics I made for like our background and like everything that I used to make that video all on that computer. So the lesson for the viewers and listeners at home: always <laughs> back up your ish to the cloud. Always back it up. Always. I don't even know how to do that. And when the IT says the IT guy says I don't know how to fix this, it means you got a big problem. Back it up. So episode three did not make it onto YouTube. It may make it onto YouTube at some point in the future. Hopefully this one will make it onto YouTube. I have to remake all the YouTube stuff in order to get this up to YouTube. But it will make it to Spotify by Thursday. And we have some people that listen on Spotify. Or are we done with the air? I'm wait. Sorry, oh wait, yeah, the sound is better when you switch to just the computer mic. This one? I like it better. Good. Because I'm in a room where um, I don't know what the room is. What do you mean? I don't know what the problem of what the room is. That's a better, better way to say that. Like the acoustics in the room? Like there, have you ever had Bluetooth headphones that just didn't connect for whatever reason? And yeah. then you're fighting with things that you can't see, you can't touch, and you can't hear. So like fighting with Wi-Fi. Like, why doesn't the Wi-Fi connect? It says connected. Your router says connected. And you're sitting here going, it why is this huge, working? You're you in the student room, right? Yeah. It's all those, that brick. I think it's that big, it's that brick wall. It's crazy. I'll be walking around and then it's like, blah, 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 blah. Only in this room, not anywhere else. Hmm. Now, could that be a curse? Could it be some demons up in here? Oh my gosh, no. I'm... <laughs> There is always a scientific explanation for all of these things. Stop it. No, there's not. You have a microwave in that room? No. Cordless phone? No. That, that would. I'm, I'm thinking of all the different radio frequencies and signals that could screw up your stuff. I think it's the rigging. The scaffolding. Mm, scaffolding. Um, so currently in pop culture, other than Apple taking over the world as always does, isn't the 13 the exact same? Okay, I also heard a rumor about the 13. I don't know if this is true. I haven't done the research myself. My coworker who sits over there told me about it. So in 2018, Apple started soldering all of their stuff to the motherboard and their MacBooks. You used to be able to like upgrade your own RAM, change yeah. out the battery when it died. Now everything is literally soldered to the board. So the only way to upgrade it is to literally take it to somebody who has that ex- expertise, like a third-party retailer, or you have to order it correctly when you get it from Apple. Yeah. And it started this whole... I know this is not where you wanted to go with this. No, no, it's, this is it's, great. I need to it know. It started this whole movement called the right to repair, um, which a lot of PC, especially people who build their own PCs, they're like trying to make this a law that Apple they feel like is violating. You own that computer when you buy it, and you cannot do anything to it once you have it in your possession. Like it's and Apple's main consumer base is 
the regular consumer who is going on Netflix. It's not PC. These are friendly people. But more companies are following suit. All of that to say, the rumor is with the iPhone 13 that the batteries are supposed to be serialized, which means in year or two, if your battery were to die and you need a new battery, a new battery would not work in your phone. It's going to pinhole you into having to do your repairs with Apple. Do you know anybody who's taken their their current phone to a third party fix my iPhone down the street? Absolutely, put all the new, time. Put a new battery yeah. in, especially if it's past like Apple Care yes. or it's past warranty. You go to those iPhone fix it hole in the wall shops, Ooh. which frankly they're getting put out of business because of Apple's new business model. Yeah. Um, and you can get it fixed for a fraction of the cost is what it would cost you to do it through okay. Apple. Okay, I know that in the tech world, screen repairs, so many options. You have Droid. And Apple, sure, you know, different plays and softwares and stuff. But if my child gets a Marvel superhero toy, and then I'm like, hey, I'm upset that I don't have the right to repair. I wanted to take off the arm of this toy, and I can't because you use a certain screw that I don't have a screw to. Shame on you. You need to change your toy so that I can make repair it. When my daughter rips the head off, I'm able to repair it with a new head. Absolutely. Is this not but no, absolutely. It's the company's business to make whatever product they want. And then it's my choice as a consumer to purchase it or not. It's not just that. So if in your example, it's proprietary things. So if that company made the screw that nobody else could get, you couldn't yeah. get it from anywhere else. Now they're yeah. pinballing you, monopolizing you into Monopolize. using them yep. for repairs. Mm -hmm. That's the problem is there are, I mean, look, literally look at this. Like there are so many different kinds of screw heads you need I, I, to repair computers. But that's the thing is they are available and it allows me to have the tools to fix a computer when it breaks. But if Apple makes a new thing but and they don't allow you to buy the tool to fix it, you have to go through them. That would be the problem. Um, so, And I'm not going to get that passionate about it because I really don't have feelings. I just kind of like playing the like... Double I'm thing. not vaccinated. Why you always got to make this so such a controversial podcast? You're it's not that it's controversial, bro. As it's the same. Okay. If Apple's trying to make it all where they have to, they are the only person, the only thing. Like, bro, I'm in a, I'm a revelations class right now for school, bro. <laughs> like, end times and everything. We're not there. Revelations, I'll make it clear, has nothing to do with. No, if you can't fix your own computer, hyper. this is the mark of the beast. It is the end times. It's not. It's not. It's Apple not. is the Antichrist. It's not. Stop it. Stop <laughs> But it's not at all what Revelations is trying to communicate when John's getting Oh my right god. Point of the story is this is this is okay, we're gonna go there. We're going here. We're going here. Here we go. Here we go, friends and family. Ready. Buckle up. I'm strapped in. You want to get vaccinated? There's been a flu shot for a long, long time. Mm, preach. The it's called what's it called? RNDA. It's the type of vaccine that it is because it's a genetic one. It's not the viral one. It doesn't mm. actually have components of the virus in it. It just has a genetic thing that helps your cells, um, as far as I know. Mm. Um, if y'all want to get it, you get it. That's fine. That's that's all good. And if I wasn't forced to get it and we were, we were nervous about it, maybe you get it. The difference is in our Constitution of Rights, whether you're telling me to or mandating it that I can or cannot under the safety and security, God, that, man, that's... I'm not saying that's communism, but we're getting real. We're walking in a path down to uh, one king rules all. And if you don't listen to the king, then you get penalized for it. I need to draw a line really quick from my brain. You said <laughs> this and this. Wait, wait. Before you preface this right here, this response, having someone express their feelings and opinions on a topic that's touchy. It explodes into like five different topics. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. I, I need the timeline. Because Go. you said, let's talk about something in popular culture, which I assumed you were going to bring up Squid Game. Ooh, yeah, Squid Games. Can we talk about <laughs> can, we just, wait, can we just bail on all of this? Then, just, you said, oh, <laughs> then you said iPhone 13. So I think that's where you wanted to go. Something with no, iPhone 13. And not, I went okay. off on right to repair and Apple serializing their batteries. And you went to the COVID vaccine. Where, where are we? What is this? What is the thesis of this conversation, how do we get back to your original thought that I first deviated from, and then you went down a different rabbit hole? I'm just... 
What was what were you originally going to say? Let's talk about popular culture iPhone 13. Where what was that? Was that about the COVID vaccine? It's just that I'm seeing it all over the place. No, it no, no, it was not. You took it there when you said Apple was monopolizing, and I'm like, mm, I was like not America. even going anywhere near the COVID vaccine. With sounds like Apple all them Democrats out there. Oh my cat! <laughs> <laughs> You're insane. Oh, I love Kevin Cotton. I love you, buddy. Um, okay, can we? <clears throat> Can we, here's a start over. Here's the reset. Here's the reset button. <laughs> if you say Squid Game, I'm gonna go jump off. I am gonna say Squid Game. <laughs> oh my god! I just want to go back to where we're supposed to go. I just watch the, the preview for it. The and good I, content. I, it looks okay. like it's a cringy show. I don't want to watch okay. it. Do imagine? Did you watch? Did you ever watch Kill Bill? Bill? Did you ever watch Quentin Tar Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill? No. Okay. Um, okay, that's not gonna work then. Um. Like, you ever watched any of the Saw movies? No, God, no. I know. I don't like, I don't like. I don't like gore. Or I don't like the cutting and the killing and the whatever and the morality choice of, oh, do I eat my own arm to free myself or do I stay here and possibly die? Like, those do not. Those kind of things good. are just like not healthy, in my opinion. No, um, I, I think it's specifically for entertainment. If you can keep it in an entertainment box in your brain, then so be it. But um, whatever. So, I'm episode four. Binged it pretty hard last night. It released 11 days ago, last I heard. Um, and it's just good. It's just good. Really? Yeah, it's just good. Do you feel good after you watch it? Um, Hesitation it's just, means it's no. It's just a good watch. What's another binger that I had to watch? So we watched like, um, what was the one Netflix one that was also kind of like that for a while? How to Make a Murderer. Uh, was one it's kind of one like some of the documentaries i watched the mormon one mock documentary on netflix there's just a couple there's a well maybe it wasn't on netflix um it's just one of those shows that you watch and you're like oh man it's not terrible it's not super gore it's not crazy it's not like you're seeing flesh ripped off of the body it's just kind of like the tacky that's why i say kill bill because kill bill is kind of gory but it's almost in like a comical tacky silly kind of way like oh you got your arm cut off and it's like a Halloween costume with blood squirting out. Like it's not, it's not really gore and crazy like that Saw. Reminds me, there's another show that you really absolutely need to watch called oh. um Do you have Apple TV Plus? I don't I've subscribed to about 10 things, so I don't know. It's on it's a new one that came out on Apple TV. It's called Foundations. I read the book over the summer, and it's basically okay. people I've heard mixed things. I really liked it, even after I read the book. Like a lot of it, it totally is one of those shows that departs from the book. A lot of people get mad about that, but it's like they use the book as a reference and then they did their own thing. It is Game of Thrones in space. Is how okay. I've heard it described. Because it's okay. got like it's got like that dynasty type esque drama with mm -hmm. science fiction. But there is an, a, a scene where uh, an old man gets exploded with a weapon and they show him literally disintegrate and explode. And even that was kind of gory because what was left was a splatter of his blood on the wall. And okay. that even, like, thankfully the whole show's not really got a lot of that, but I was like, ugh, ugh, I don't like that. So Foundations. Foundations, yeah, I would really awesome. highly recommend it. Yep. Two episodes are released, so the next one comes out on Friday. Well, you gotta watch Squid Games now, so there's that. I have homework to do. <laughs> so do I. So uh, do I. You know what else comes on Friday that I'm really excited for? Uh, it was Friday. Friday's like October, isn't it? It's October 1. Uh, it, it, this is a personal purchase. This isn't like everybody gets this. I bought a $200 trash can. Uh, okay. What is the difference between a $200 trash, $200 trash can and a $20 trash can? Status, obviously. Hello. <laughs> Use me, but really, what is is this? Is this trash can going to compost your trash and take it out by itself? Like, come I on. wish it was that. Well, then, smart. what is it doing? So, the journey of the trash can is, which this will segue into the topic I wanted to discuss today too. So, we're gonna go down a deep hole here that we'll have to keep on G rated. Uh, Sorry for touching vaccinations. I apologize. No, it's fine. You're allowed to talk about whatever you want to talk about. This is it's your. This is gonna be on the internet forever, and you won't be able to run for president. When anyway, um, so I have currently a twenty dollar thirteen gallon trash can that I have had forever. 
forever. Okay. Like, literally, it's gone with me from place to place to place. It's black. It's simple. It's got the little flip lid that you that you. It's not like even a foot pedal. It just flips around and around and around. You know, the kind of lid I'm talking about. And the current house where we have moved into, uh, Tony, Tony's house that we rent from him, had has the little bitty trash can. So like, I am envious of you and your twenty trash cans that you have outside for the public trash guy to come and pick up. You know how you have the big ones. I have like the little one. It's like a third the size of that, uh, because a, a, the house is meant for usually like one person to live in. So you're not creating a lot of trash. But there are three men living in this house. We produce a lot of garbage, and it's every garbage day is like we are struggling with whether or not we're going to be able to fit everything in our public street trash can. Uh, so what I've done to help combat that is I went and bought one of those little eight gallon trash cans that's like for recycling. It's blue and it has the recycling thing on it, and I put yes, that yes. next to the trash can. And it's not like I care about the, I mean, I do care about the environment, but it's more just to balance our trash between the two, the, the trash and the recycling bin, because we need to keep them both full. One of my roommates who currently has moved in with me about a year ago hates my trash can for some reason. He goes on and on and on about how much he hates my trash can. The one uh, inside. The one inside. You're about the, inside. the outside one. Okay, okay. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, it's a trash can. Who cares? My other roommate's in that same boat. We, nobody cares about the trash can. So I was scrolling TikTok like you do, and uh, this guy posted this TikTok about being an adult, being excited about a trash can. He bought this trash can from a company called Simple Human, and it was like really neat because it's it's a long trash can that has a recycling and a trash bin inside of it under the same flip top lid, and it plugged in, and you could literally tell Alexa, you can speak the na naughty word freely in my office, we don't have one in here. Uh, and you just tell Alexa to lift the lid, and it will lift the lid, and you can throw your crap in there, and it closes back down. So, bringing it back to a week ago, I was talking to my mom about this trash can, the trash can woes, I need to get a new trash can, or I feel like I want to get a new trash can, I'm thinking about the simple human one, but that's a lot of money to spend on a trash can, and she goes, all freaks out, I bought my trash can at Kohl's, you should get this one, or not at Kohl's, at Costco, uh, it's like a, it's a Kohler, 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 Kohler brand, and it's like $69, and she loves it so much, and I went, okay, yeah, that's a nice trash can, okay, I'll get that, that's a good middle ground, I'll buy that trash can. Costco's out. They don't sell them anymore. They ran out. They don't have it. So then I like was leaning back towards the simple human one, and I decided to go middle ground, not get the smart one that plugs in, but I did get the two bin trash can with the you just step on the foot pedal and it lifts the lid. So I'm getting a new trash can. It comes on Friday. I bought it on Amazon. Amazon two full. What's the brand? Simple Human. Yeah, that's a good brand. So Is it? Have, you know? It's the one you I got. You spent two hundred dollars on a trash can too? Definitely, definitely not. <laughs> we have drawn the line on on who's bougie in this relationship, and it is not my trash can with sixty. Maybe that's still a lot for a trash. It's can. still a lot because I it was easy to get things in and out. Um, that's what she know, said. It's fine. I'm not. Whoop. I'm. Uh, it's just it's just better. <laughs> the liner and protection that I put in there is just better. Do you have to buy the the proprietary Simple Human trash bags? No. No. That's what a lot of people in the comment section were of this trash can reviews were like, you have to buy their trash bags. And I was like, I ain't doing that. I'm using my Costco Kirkland brand trash yeah, bags. Yeah. yeah, Sam's Club. Um, and let me tell best. you, if, I, if my trash bags don't fit in this trash can, you better believe it's Amazon returning itself right away. Yeah, reset itself back. Yeah, Amazon robots will come and take this trash. Robots! Robots! Did you see the new Amazon robot that runs around your house and is basically an R2-D2? Because it has like a little periscope that comes up and can look on your counters? What? <gasps> I'm going to send it to you after this call. Sorry. Um, no, sorry. It's a, it's a $999 podcast. device that Amazon is selling. It's basically Alexa on wheels that drives around your house. You can tell it to follow you. And if you're not home, it'll basically go into like a sentry mode and roam your house looking for trouble if there is trouble to find. And then like you can take control from your phone and tell it to go like in the kitchen and make sure you turn the stove top off. But because it roams around the ground, it has a periscope that comes out of its head like R2-D2 to be oh. able to see up on your counters. So it's Amazon R2. Yeah. Are oh, you looking at it? Are you looking at it? No, I was looking for this from earlier because he said seasons, bro, and I forgot this is my daughter. Oh, why am I liking my own stuff on Instagram? How tacky. Don't ever do that. 
No, yeah, yeah. Season. Say seasons, bro. Seasons, bro. Seasons. Season. Say seasons, bro. Seasons, bro. Oh my God! Wait, you did it's like it? The cutest thing on the planet. That's the new intro. We're getting rid of the stupid song, and it's just going to be Michael. Hey, Stone. stupid song! That song's brought me through so many seasons. That means you're stone. Come on now. Yeah, people are probably when they hear our intro, they're like, "What the f is this?" Like, maybe you should give some context as to what the intro song is, because I had never heard of it. Uh, We're actually probably going to get flagged for copyright soon because I didn't get the rights to be able to play that little sound bite. Um, yeah, well, if you're not flagged yet, that, then that's good. Or thing. we need to record our own version of it. Yeah, well, it'll just be. <laughs> it is in my life. Bing, 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 you bing. will see bing, in time. That, that all you that's had it. To... That's all we need. Awesome. Is that, just that little intro, and then we start the podcast. I'm down. I've been doing that line and saying those words for 10 years now, over 10 years. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, what else is going to be the things uh, that I was going to say? No, I'm not buying a $1,000 robot. That's not going to happen. Or a $200 um, trash can. Or a $200 trash can because, okay, okay. Pet peeve. Pet peeve time. This is the segment of the show where we talk about pet peeve. Wait, <laughs> I hope you ask me mine after telling me yours because I've got stories to tell you. Trash cans pet peeve. The human that takes the trash out. Thank you for doing that for your house, whether you're the roommates or your family or your friends. Thank you for doing we have that. A good, we have a good routine in my house. Sean usually takes it out, and then I usually take him to the curb because my car is in the way. So we've got All a right. good... Yeah. Thank you for that Sean, person who the trash can out. And there is grace given for you not putting the trash bag back in immediately. You know, okay, Sean I always that. does it. He always Vegas does it. pet peeve. The person who comes behind the person who took the trash can out opens the lid, realizes there's not the trash bag in there, and still puts the trash inside of the No! There is not a normal human on this planet who does that. Listen to me. The five five viewers and listeners who are here this conversation has at least one or two people in this conversation has somebody in their household that sees that the bag is empty or not there and still proceeds to put their trash inside no. the trash can. It's like there, there is a psychological study. I don't know if you've heard about this, where it's like if, if people have done studies on if you're a good person or not, whether or not you take your shopping cart back to the corral or Ooh, not. Have you heard one. of this? The corral? Is that what it's called? The corral. What else would you call it? I don't know. Is that not what it's called? We go to the barn. We go to the barn and we're shopping a bunch of goats. What would you call that thing? <laughs> the, the shopping cart? cart corral. I'm going to put my cart back in a cart corral. Here what we go. What would you call it? <laughs> what would you call it? Don't make fun of me unless you've got an alternative name for it. What would you call it? It's the place where the carts go. I don't know. <laughs> it's, 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 it. it's, cur- it's a box. It's a... Uh, where do the shop... A corral? I mean, go. that's a good... <laughs> Large reta- re- retailers often install shopping cart corrals in their parking lots to give customers a convenient place to drop oh, off their carts. Man, I'm just, I, mm, it is I'm the proud actual of you term for it. For being the actual term, I'm also embarrassed that you called it a corral because I've never heard that before in my 32 years of life. Anyway, there is a there is a psychological study that if you will, if you are the type of person who will take their cart all the way back to the place for the shopping carts if go, i'm feeling it if i'm feeling it then you are a good person and like there's like a whole study on this if you don't it's like oh it's the whole like chaotic evil chaotic good have you seen that that punnett square that's like neutral good and then there's chaotic good and uh-uh. and yeah no, seen uh, and it's, it's like jesus i'm the way but i feel like that's it's, it's a similar <laughs> shut up it's a similar <laughs> test like a similar test if you don't put a trash bag in an empty trash can in my home, I guess I would probably do that in a bit. No, I would probably look for another trash can. If, if like someone in a business is taking out the trash and I walk up on an empty trash can, I'm not going to throw it because then that person has to t- pick up my trash to put it in a bag. That's rude. And take you a step further. I'll take you a step further. Liquids in the plastic bag trash can. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You know how many times that I have seen those who shall not be named and Sam's gotten better at this, so she's not what I'm talking about. Those who should not be named. I was like, can you go years. through a podcast about putting your wife on blast? Either we've learned about her pregnancy or her <laughs> Krampus or 
her braces or the most the important scene of my life which is why I trash. talk about her. Stop it. One further liquid into the trash can. No. Bag or no bag. I don't even care. Liquid does not belong in the trash. Because so in our that recycling bin that I got that's next to it, I, I put bags in it, but nobody else does, and I've stopped fighting that battle. It's a little eight gallon, you don't have to put a bag in it. But I will go this like if I pour out a milk jug, like a plastic milk jug, because it's gonna sit in there without a bag, I wash out my milk jug. You rinse it. You rinse it out. Yes. Yeah. These these are like if it were going in the trash can, you forget about it. But I don't put you dump out the liquids and then you put it. This is co okay, common sense, right? This is common sense stuff that if you put the milk into that, it's going to smell within Think so bad. hours. Yeah, so, so it's going to smell. Common sense is it's going to smell. Okay, I would say majority of people are probably just dump it out, smash it, and throw it in there, and then eight hours later wonder why it smells. These are the people who think by putting a mask on is going to protect coronavirus. So, speaking of smells and pet peeves, this is a great segue into what I wanted to vent about today, which we only have five minutes left in the podcast. So five I, minutes, a lot can happen in five minutes. Can we for a second talk about marijuana? Mm. Wow. Well, okay. I think I know I am a stick in the mud with the rest of the world when it comes no, against the rest of the world, when it comes to marijuana, when I catch a waft, a smell, a small scent, of Welcome marijuana. to Las Vegas. My blood starts to boil. And I don't, and I think the only reason I can psychologically explain the why of that is because of all the drama with my family member who shall not be named. Um, In there. Oh, we might get interrupted. Okay, so this oh. is where we'll cut back over to the podcast. Okay. Um, so I said the smell of marijuana makes me angry. I don't know why. And so I change because I know, I, well, I don't want to say speak for you, but because I get that there's like, there's medical and healthy real reasons people do smoke marijuana or take edibles. But, oh, this is what I want to say about that. And this is going to be a little pointed. So, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it. The people that come home from a long day at work and they have to have a glass of wine or a beer to unwind, or they go to a party and they have to have a beer to be able to have fun. Yep. I think that is a terrible crutch. And I think that there are people who would say, I need an edible to relax because I've got anxiety. And I think that there's other ways to fight those feelings and those things. Yep. Your turn. <laughs> I mean, there. of course there are. Of course there are other ways. Um, it's, speaking from an addict's perspective... And having a history of things, yeah. If you ever, if you ever get to a point where you're like, if I just had this, or if this happened in my life, or if this would just, if this could just happen, fill in the blank. You're putting your hope and your faith and your trust in something that is that thing, because yeah. then it, it does all that. So I know, I know what it is. There are there are doctors who will prescribe marijuana for. Think there are ailment for whatever it would be, and and there are medical uses for it. But I think that we have come to us as a society to lean too much on weed as a escape from my pain, my anxiety, my reality, and and it it, yep. it bugs me. And I know that's bigoted, and I know that like it's not a popular opinion. I feel like I really go against the grain with this with other people, like. Everyone basically tells me to lighten up. Like everyone smokes weed. Everyone loves to smoke weed. Like it's, it's just a lot of things that are happening in culture right now that are like, come on, man, what's the big deal? But isn't that what I was told when I was in like elementary school with yeah. peer pressure when they're like, hey, man, it's no big deal. A book, a book I read called The Wizard's First Rule. Did you ever read that one? You don't weed. It's not. A, yeah, we talked about that last. No, time. I don't. I don't weed like that. No. Weed, read. Um, the wizard's first rule, uh, uh, to spoil it for anybody who wants to read the book, is people will believe anything because they're afraid it's true or they want it to be true. So most of the wizard in this book's magic didn't actually come from like supernatural magic. It was always like, how can I convince a crowd either by using their fears or their desires to make them do what I want them to do? But he always also used to say that like you want to remain in control of your body. You should never use a substance to produce a feeling or an effect, alcohol, drugs, whatever it would be, ale, like to be able to get courage or 
whatever it may be. So I've kind of subscribed to that, that notion of like, I do enjoy drinking, I have smoked weed, I've had an edible, but it's not like my thing. Like, it's more of like, a, I reserve that for special occasions. Mm-hmm. So. Like drinking and stuff? Like drinking, like smoking. Stuff. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And even then, I don't do it that often. I just feel like when you're in your 30s, there are better ways to adult. Like, going and buying $200 trash cans. Way mm-hmm. better than smoking weed. Going to the gym. Slow blow, bro. I mean, that wasn't pointed at all, but it was a... For a second, and then we'll end the podcast because we're already way at 30 minutes. I paused the timer when they, they walked in. Um, I got ready to go to the gym last night. I was like, I'm going to do it. It's, it's, it's time to go. Got my gym clothes on, made my pre-workout, got my towel, had it all at the door. All I had to do was walk out of my house, get in the car, and leave. Yeah, do but it. I thought, I'm going to be gone for an hour and a half, two hours. I should take Mac out to the dog park, let him go potty real quick. Go to the dog park. We get stopped by our neighbors, who are an acute elderly couple of two doors down, talk to him for 30 minutes. And Mac and I were going to go to the dog park with, with Oscar and Jesse at 9. So I was like, now I only have an hour at the gym by the time I get there. So I made nachos instead. And ate them in my gym clothes. So instead of going to the gym... I ate nachos and watched. Okay. <laughs> That's why I said low blow. I'm already feeling bad about it. And here you are just talking crap about the fact that I didn't go to the gym last night. I feel like that like was, you knew... I was. I had no idea. That was like a commercial for every like. Hey, I was gonna go to the gym, but I wanted tacos instead, and that's why I look like this. <laughs> Which you don't, obviously, but it's just, it's just the. Oh, I do. I look meme. at pictures of myself uh, from a long time ago, and I really like the way I looked. And now that was two years ago, and now I've gained my quarantine fifteen and. Quarantine fifteen. That is not a thing. It, oh, yeah, it is. If it's not, I just made it one. It oh, my gosh. Because they always say, like, your freshman 15, mur, 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 quarantine 15. But mine's more like a quarantine 25, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so I didn't, I'm, I'm up there, too, so it was fine. That's what 30 is. You turn 30, you gain weight. Come on. No, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to, because that's the thing. If I'm a fat, single old man, then I'll be like, nobody wants to hang out with me. But if I'm single, Skinny, rich, muscly Uncle Russell who sends his nieces and nephews hundreds of dollars for every birthday and Christmas and travels the world. The, like the People will be excited. I'm not going to be creepy Uncle Russell. Forget that ish. You're not creepy Uncle Russell. I am so ingrained Uncle Russell that I was talking to my dog the other day and I was like, yeah, Uncle Russell. And I was like, wait, I'm your father. <laughs> Anyway, that's all we got time for in the podcast today. <laughs> uh, Lessons of this week. I don't care who you are. If that trash can doesn't have a, have a liner in it, you don't put anything in it. Secondly, even if there is a liner in that and your Starbucks drink has about you know a quarter of it left, do not put it in the trash can. And thank you very much. How come we only talk about your lessons? What were my lessons? Or was I well, just... I, that, I, that, was a, that was my takeaway out of all of this. And don't buy an Apple product. That was... And a, back up your info. Always back, back up. up. That's what it was. Back up your crap. Back up your stuff in the cloud and take the trash out and put the liner in. Or help out your friend who took the trash out and put the liner in for them. And... My roommate, Sean, is just so good at it. He does it so fast. I don't even know. Like He's like a magic trash fairy. He does it at night while I'm sleeping. A magic trash fairy. Yes. Yeah. So he's running the night shift then. He actually does. He works graves, so he probably does take it out at like 2 in the morning. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching Seasons, bro. That's what he do. I guess or listening to Seasons, bro. That's all we got time for. Have a good week.